Our story brings us to Madison, Wisconsin, home to the state capitol, the state university, and the world's largest brat fest. With the terrace for lounging, three lakes for sailing, and numerous parks for strolling, the people of Madison take life in the slow lane. The only place you'll find the fast pace of city life is at the Madison Public Library. This is where you'll find Mary, a contender for the title World's Fastest Librarian in the upcoming competition. Mary is a top contender for the title World's Fastest Librarian, and her local patrons know why. Mary finds materials for patrons in no time at all. Patrons don't have to wait long in Mary's checkout line. We asked Mary what she likes best about being a librarian. It's the people. Helping people is the best part about being a librarian. Noise problems are no problem when Mary is at the library. Not only is Mary quick in the library, she also holds a high level of librarianship, and she believes in providing people with access to information. What does Mary do in her free time? We followed Mary around on a typical day outside of the library. In her free time, Mary likes to keep her home neat. Mary also enjoys playing sports with her friends from the library. Entertaining unexpected guests is a breeze for Mary. With all of these fine qualities, why is it that Mary doesn't have a bow? Why don't I have a bow? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit shy. We think it's because they can't keep up with her.
she'd be quite a catch if the boys could catch her. Librarians have turned up from across the globe to compete in the annual World's Fastest Librarian competition. There are competitors from as far away as Antarctica and from as close as Middleton, Wisconsin. The competitors are narrowed down through a series of events highlighting librarian skills. Each round is judged on both quickness and accuracy. The competition has gone late into the night. Just a room full of librarians remain. All of the competitors have shown remarkable skill and can go home proud of their performance. Only one competitor was disqualified for unlibrarian-like behavior. Withholding information. The competition has been narrowed down to three final competitors. Katie comes all the way from Perth, Australia. Jack is a librarian from nearby Middleton. And Mary is the hometown favorite from Madison, Wisconsin. The tension is mounting. Only two competitors can move on from this round. Mary has won again. Mary and Jack will both move on to the final round. We asked Mary, having won all of the preliminary competitions, what are you thinking as you go into the final round? I'm thinking about systems of organizing information, just as any librarian in my place would be. I'm also thinking that I might give my competitor a little bit of a head start. The competition comes down to the final round, the shelving competition. The winner of this round will go home with the coveted title, World's Fastest Librarian. We asked Jack, how do you feel as you're entering the final round of the competition? I'm feeling confident. The shelving competition is not just about putting books on the shelf. You need to have a firm understanding of the call number. This means knowing the nuances of the Dewey Decimal System, plus having a firm understanding of the cutter number. Jack didn't win today's competition, but he may have won something better. Mary's heart.
Now that you have won the title World's Fastest Librarian, and it appears as though you have found a bow, what's next for you, Mary? Well, I'm going to go back to working at the library, just like I always have. I love working at the library. Then, I'm thinking world domination is in the cards for me. I think that that's the best way to ensure that I help people the most. You're welcome.